today's video, we're going to take a look at Spawner Meta, a Minecraft plugin which adds fully customizable, upgradable, and modifiable spawners to your Minecraft server. This is the type of spawner plugin you would find on, for example, Donut SMP or a Lifesteal server. It allows you to purchase spawners and after that upgrade their range, delay, amount, and a lot more cool stuff. And today, we're gonna check it out. So make sure to subscribe to the channel if you've not done so yet. You would really help me out by doing that. And then without any further ado, let's uh, dive right into this. So the way your players are gonna get spawners is by typing slash spawner shop. Executing that command will open a shop where you can purchase spawners for experience. So you can see all of these spawners cost 500 experience, some cost 1000 experience, but know that you can completely customize this in the config. Now when we're talking about experience, we're talking about experience points, not experience levels. Those are two very different things, and it's good to remember. So if you think that 500 or 1000 is too low, which I for sure think is the case for some of these, I would highly recommend changing that. But let's go ahead and purchase a spawner. I'm gonna purchase a cat one. So I'm simply gonna click and there we go. Purchase one cat spawner. So now we are the proud owner of this spawner. You can see that all the upgrades are currently one. So range, delay and amount have all never been upgraded. But it is something we can do. So when we place down this spawner, just like that, you can see there's a cute little cat inside and when we wait about 25 seconds, the first few cats will start to spawn. Now, how do I know that I have to wait 25 seconds? Well, that is because when we right-click on the spawner, you can see the delay is currently 25, meaning that every 25 seconds, some cats will spawn. Now, you could see on the background, cats just spawned. And you might be wondering how many have spawned. Well, four. One, two, three, and four. There we go. Hello, cutie. How are you doing? How are you doing? Now, I know that four entities just spawned because the amount of this spawner is four. So every 25 seconds, four cats will spawn. And where will they spawn? Well, they will spawn in a range of 16 blocks around this spawner. Now, we can upgrade this spawner also with experience. So if I don't want a delay of 25 seconds, but just of 21.3 then I can purchase this delay and there we go. Delay has been updated to level 2 and I can upgrade to level 3 which will take it down even further. And I can do it once more and I can do it once more. And now every 10 seconds, 4 cats will spawn. I can of course also upgrade the amount. There we go, all the way till 8. So 8 cats every 10 seconds, which is a crazy lot. And I can even upgrade the range. So I can put it all the way to 32, meaning that now 32 blocks around this spawner, cats can actually spawn. Lots of cats will be spawning here now. <laughs> now let's say you want to move this spawner. Well, that's very easily done because we can just left click. It is mined, ready to be taken. And if you look at the spawner in your inventory, you can also see that all the upgrades actually carry over. So it still has range five, delay five and amount five, even though we picked it up. And we can now just place it down somewhere again and it will have those same upgrades. Now some other commands. If you do slash SM, which stands for spawner meta, you will be able to activate or disable spawners. So when we do SM disable and after that true, just like that, spawner spawning disabled, which means that currently server-wide spawners will not work. They are disabled. So I can take it and I can take it to the eyes, for example, place it down here, but no cats will spawn at all. Now this can be very handy in a lot of scenarios. Let's say your server is lagging like crazy and you want to figure out what is causing this lag. But of course, all these spawners working over time is not helping. So it might be very beneficial to just disable mob spawning for a little bit while you figure out what is causing the problem and then re-enabling spawners after that. Now you can also check how many spawners are active per world. So when we do slash SM active and after that, let's say world nether, you can see that there's currently only one active spawner in the nether world. So when we do slash spawner world, you can see that there are 83 active spawners, which is a lot. But those are also naturally generated spawners. They also count. And you can see that even naturally generated spawners like this one over here in the strongholds are upgradable which is really really cool and when you type slash sm edit and after that open you will be able to edit the spawner gui menu so you can right click and left click on these icons which will move them in the menu 
Look at that. That is some pretty cool stuff. Now, inside of the config file, there are some very cool things that I think you should enable. So when you go to your Minecraft server directory, then to your plugins folder, and after that to the spawner meta folder, in there you should see a file called configuration.yml. Inside of that file, you will be able to change a lot of settings and values. So just basic things for the spawners, also events, items. You will even be able to change breaking options. So should spawners break when, for example, a TNT goes off right next to it, or a creep or a fireball. That's all stuff you can disable or enable here. Now here on line 290, you got the prices. Currently, they're all set to experience, meaning that you will have to pay with experience points to actually get spawners and upgrade them. If you have Vault installed on your Minecraft server and an economy plugin like, for example, Essentials X, you will also be able to use money for this. And over here is where you can change that. But the things I think you should enable is, first of all, the holograms. So by enabling this, you will actually see a hologram above the spawner, basically telling what type of spawner it is. I would recommend enabling that, because why not? Another feature that I think is really cool are the charges. So by default, they're disabled. I would highly recommend enabling them. Charges define how many times a spawner can spawn. They can be purchased by players in-game. So after enabling the charges, when we now put down a spawner in-game, you will see this. First of all, it says cat spawner, because we enabled the hologram. Holograms, but also you got these explanation marks here. What does that mean? Well, it means that this spawner currently doesn't have any charge. And when we open the spawner menu, you will see a brand new icon in the bottom right, which says charges. So we will need to pay experience to charge up this spawner. So by left clicking, I can give it 16 charges. And by right clicking, I can give it 128 charges. Now one charge means that the spawner will spawn one time. Time. Now, how much will it spawn? Well, it will spawn this amount. So if I would charge it 16 times, then this spawner will activate 16 times and it will spawn four cats 25 seconds apart in a range of 16 blocks around this spawner. Of course, when you upgrade all of these values, cats will spawn more frequently and more cats will actually spawn and you will basically get more worth for your charge. So remember that this is disabled by default, but I would highly recommend enabling it, especially if you run a public Minecraft server, because you don't want every single spawner on your server to be running 24-7. That will just go horribly wrong and your server will become massively laggy. By the way, when you look at a spawner in your inventory after enabling the charges, you will actually see the amount of charges at the bottom. So currently this one has zero, but if you would charge one up for let's say 200 charges, then those 200 charges would remain even after mining the spawner and taking it elsewhere. And then guys, that is gonna be everything for today. I want to thank you so extremely much for watching. If you did enjoy make sure to subscribe to the channel you would help me out so much by doing that you actually would and then i wish you an amazing day and i will see you in the next one bye bye